In this episode, we're going to talk about something called logical operators inside PHP. And as you guys can see, we do actually have some stuff on the screen already. We have x, which is equal to 10, and we have y, which is equal to 20. Now, the basic idea behind logical operators is that we can actually go ahead and add more statements or more conditions inside something like an if statement, for example. And as you guys can see, we do actually have an if statement down here. And if you guys don't remember, an if statement basically says if whatever's inside the parentheses are true, then it's going to do whatever's down here. Now, in this case, I did actually put in x and asked if it was equal to y. And in this case, it's not. So it's actually not going to print out true because this statement is false. So if we go and refresh the browser, you guys can see it does actually not say anything. Now, logical operators basically allows for us to combine multiple statements or like conditions next to each other. So we can actually check for more things than just one thing. So if I go after the Y we have here and say, or, and add another condition, for example, I could ask if one is in fact equal to one, which is actually true because one is actually equal to one, they're the same. You can actually see that we do actually get true inside the browser because right now it's checking if this is true or if this is true, then do this down here. And in this case, one of them is actually true. So it's just going to do whatever's down here. Now we can also use another one called and in between here, which basically says that both of these statements has to be true. So if I actually go ahead and refresh the browser, you guys can see that it does not write anything because this one is in fact false. If I do actually go up and change x to 20, you guys will see that now both statements are actually true and it does actually say true. So there's a couple of different ways we can actually write this. And I do actually recommend or not recommend, I prefer writing it the other way because it does actually look a little bit cooler. Instead of using or, we're actually gonna go ahead and use these symbols here. And I don't actually know what they're called in English, but it's a vertical line going, you know, up and down. And if you have two of them next to each other, they will in fact do the same thing as writing or. So if I do actually save this and go refresh the browser, you guys can see it does actually say true because it did actually change the X back to 10. So only one statement down here is actually true and it still writes out true because it's taking or and not and. Now, if you want to write symbols or at least the symbols for and, we can actually write ampersand ampersand, which does the exact same thing as writing and. So if I refresh the browser, you guys can see it says nothing because one of these conditions are in fact false. Now we have another one, which is called X or like this, which basically says that one of these conditions has to be true, but there can only be one condition that has to be true. Meaning that right now one is in fact equal to one X is not equal to Y. So it will in fact print something out on the screen as you guys can see here. Now, if I do actually change x to 20 again. So now x is in fact equal to y. Both of these conditions will be true. But if I go refresh the browser, you can see it says that it's false. And that's because we are basically saying here that one of these conditions has to be true, but we can't have both of them being true. So that's the basic logical operators we do actually have inside PHP. We will be using these as well at some point. Um, usually when you do more complicated stuff or not complicated stuff, but usually when you do something that's not very, very basic, you do usually use these kind of conditions here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we're going to start talking about these if statements. And we're actually going to talk about all the different types of statements we have that are similar to the if statement. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.